High octane clash in on the cards as India take on England in the second semi finals of the ICC Men's T20 World Cup in Adelaide on Thursday. India made a strong statement with the performance in the Super 12s, winning four out of their five matches and finishing at the top of Group 2. A loss to South Africa was a sore blip in an otherwise consistent group stage showing. The Indian batters have put on quite a show as well. All of Surya Kumar Yadav, Virat Kohli and KL Rahul have been in strong form and will be looking to take forward into knockouts. But skipper Rohit Sharma has been struggling to get big scores and his team will be hoping he can step up. On the bowling front, all the three frontline pacers, Bhuvaneshkar Kumar, Mohammad Shami and Arshdeep Singh have delivered impressive performances as well. All-rounder Hardik Pandya and off-spinner Ravi Chandran Ashwin have also made significant contributions with the ball claiming 8 and 6 wickets in this campaign respectively. Only Azar Pertl's bowling returns have been a matter of concern with the spinner possessing an economy rate of more than 9 so far. It remains to be seen if India opt to play Yuzvendra Shahal, an additional spin option target to England's middle order. England bounced back well after losing to Ireland in the Super 12s. Qualifying for the semi-finals was looking quite difficult when the match against Australia was washed out but Joss Butler's men delivered strong performances against New Zealand and Sri Lanka to make their way into the final four. The main strength of this English side is their batting, which runs right down to number 10. The lineup is full of power hitters right from the top, which means they can really run away with the game on decks that are good for batting and venues where boundaries are short. The Adelaide Oval fulfills both requisites and that's why this English batting until could be very difficult for position to handle for the Indian bowlers. England's bowling unit, which wasn't rated that highly ahead of the tournament, has stepped up as well. Sam Curran has been a relevation with the ball, particularly in the death. The left armers is England's highest wicket taker in the tournament while going at an economy rate of 6.40. Mark Wood has been relentless with his express pace as well, whereas Ben Strokes has also done a great job to pick up five wickets while going at 5.9.0 runs per over. The only concerns around Chris Walker's and the performance of spinners. Walker's has been expensive and hasn't been offering that much wicket taking threat, threat front with the new ball. And while Adil Rashid has been quite economical, he has picked up just one wicket in four matches. England are going into the clash with a couple of injury concerns. David Mullen tweaked his left growing in the last match against Sri Lanka, while Mark Wood has pulled up a stiffness as well. But both are trying their best to prove their fitness ahead of the clash. If they aren't available, Phil Salt and Chris Jordan are expected to replace them in the lineup.